Deb? Me and Deb are going on a little adventure. And this is an adventure that's close to my heart. So say hello, Deb. Hey, how are you? <laughs> so I was telling Debbie um, earlier this year about an app called Too Good To Go, which is uh, it's, it helps eliminate food waste. And uh, Debbie was like, oh, that's a great idea, but it doesn't exist here in America. And basically, at the end of the day, when uh, a store has got food waste, they'll, in the UK, for about 3 99 you can get like 15 pounds worth of, is this it? Hang on a second then. You get about 15 pounds worth of food. So Debbie's testing out for the first time ever. We are, she's playing it safe. So we are at Daily Dose Coffee. That looks like my lens needs cleaning, sorry. Uh, and we're gonna go in and uh, see how it goes. This is the first American too good to go thing. Yeah, you just do that and swipe, it's all good. Looks like a nice place. This is a super place. Oh, it smells amazing. Boom, look at this. And it's cute. And what I like about it is you get to see new places that you wouldn't necessarily have tried. What do you reckon? So. Would you be happy getting them? Oh my, those look so good. Oh, uh, the top one's peanut butter. Truffles, mm. man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So and they've got chai latte. No, I love chai latte. That's why, that's what I'm saying. Chai latte is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And you've got art books and stuff. And cookbooks. A British cookbook. Look at that. Got a bit of everything. <laughs> but we've just got our bag, we swiped. Thank you. So Debbie's excited, she's got a heavy bag of what? Oh, you're doing a reveal here. Let's there go. Is so cool. here. Um here's a muffin on top. Looks like cranberry maybe? Cranberry yeah, wine. so that's probably four dollars. So go on, let me, let me have a little look in the back. That look like savory, like cheese. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, so there's a one, two, three, four, five. There's about six pastries and a muffin for there you $4. Go. You kind of can't beat that. No, you can't. I, I told you. Amazing. That's why I'm championing it, because I wanted to ex extend across yeah, the world. I definitely want to try this elsewhere. Right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, at, at try try something savory, like yeah. a curry or something. Right. Yes. We're, and we need to food test them later. Okay. Even if we're just like cutting them in half and stuff. Yeah. Right, there you go. So that was a really positive first experience. I'm excited. And we haven't even tried the food yet. Yay. Right, let's go get drunk. Okay, yay. <laughs> Here we go. So this is our booty. This is our booty. This is actually what, this is the treasures we bought from the first, like, United States, USA, too good to go, like, testing the app forage. So I think we've got four savory pasties. Pasties? Pastries. Jesus Christ, I'm like, I feel like I'm back home, but I'm not. Pastries, right? So they look like cheese, but do you know what? They could be anything. We haven't tasted them yet. These look like some sort of jam. They look good. This is uh, something of an unknown origin, but this one is really exciting to me, personally. That's my go-to favorite. I don't know whether that's dates. I have no idea what that is. Sultanas, no idea. But that is exciting me a lot. So, and then we got a little muffin, which kind of looks like raspberry to me. That's not blueberry, is it? That's raspberry. But anyway, so uh, we'll we'll try them. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe some of these will end up in the freezer. But that's the good thing about it. too good to go. Welcome to America. I'm really glad you're here. Keep it up, right? I want to see like too good to go stuff from like. Asian restaurants like sushi and stuff like that, you know, a lot of, lot of pastries and stuff like that. Everyone needs to get on this too good to go up. If you run a restaurant business, get on it. You're going to like, you, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to make money for food you're throwing away. That's the whole point. And like just feeding people and like promoting your business. It's a no brainer. Get on it. Come on. Alrighty. So I'm going to air fry these for a minute. That one is a savory cheese of some kind. Look how beautiful that is. And this one, not too sure on, but looking at it, it the, the top looks like it's cheese. So it could be a sweet savory thing. And the base looks plummy to me, like a plum 
or a damson jam, but that that's not really a thing here in the States. So, so it could be anything. So let's uh, that's the fun about too good to go. So let's uh, pop these in the air fryer and see how they come out. All right, so this is what they looked up looked like warmed up. They warmed up just on the uh, preheat um, phase of the um, air fryer, and they were just like piping hot. So I put them in on preheat and just uh, you know, so I didn't even really I use a minute's worth of electricity to to reheat these bad boys. So let's get them in my face and see what they uh, taste like. Three ninety nine, can't go wrong. Still got a whole bag of food out there. Here we go, we'll start with the, the savoury. I couldn't live like this. I eat, the, I eat pastries about maybe twice a year. But as a little treat. Mm. That is perfectly buttery. It's really nice actually. Haven't got to the cheese yet. But even that, the pastry is just really, really just gently salted, melts in the mouth, nice crunch, beautiful, beautiful to flavour. Mmm, oh yeah. Here comes the cheese. It's like a beca how do you say it? Becamol? Bechamol? <laughs> but um that's kind of what it reminds me of. This is really good. I mean, it's, the whole bag of treats was three ninety nine, and this is worth three ninety nine. Just what you say. Hmm. So, if you haven't downloaded Too Good to Go app, please do so. I'm not affiliated. I just uh, I, I'm a champion. I don't. I, I can't stand food waste, especially when. People are struggling financially and stuff like that. But you can go and buy a bag of food for three three ninety nine from whatever restaurant is signed up for this. Um, this one we just happened to try pastries because uh, Debbie was a bit nervous of it. And uh, but you can always read um, reviews of the restaurants on Google as well to see whether the food's good. It's like a, I found a soul food one and I was excited about that, wondering what I'd get, but. I mean, the end of the day, it's random. It's whatever they've got left that they haven't got. So you could get like a ton of collard greens and just rice. <laughs> you know, you might not get anything. Or you could get like amazing stews and chicken and stuff like that. So I've had, um, if you're a carnivore, I've had like whole um, fresh cooked, sorry, whole raw chickens that I've then been able to cook with. So I did an experiment actually, um, how to live on like too good to go for, I think a week or two weeks is a while ago now. But what I'll do is I'll pop that link in the description so you can uh, you can watch it. Actually, I'll, I'll leave it running at the end of the uh, at the end of the video. There'll be a link to that. Hi. Right. Mm. I'm not a pastry fan, but this is delicious. So I'll, I'll give that a solid eight. It's really nice. And I might as well turn it into a, a mukbang video anyway, because I'm always talking. So I might as well finish this. So I was going to put it down and try the other thing, but. Mm. I don't know whether you can hear me crunching through an ASMR fan, but it is very crisp. The last little bit, look. Ah, looks like a little star. A little, little person going, yay. Or, what, or needing a hug. So that pastry represents me right now. Mmm. <laughs> that was good. All right. Two pastries in one day. I'm definitely going to be pastried out after this. So I've given up on the competitive eating thing for health reasons. It's like. I can still do it. I've proven that. I can speed eat and stuff like that, but I might, I might do something a couple of times a year. It's like, but, you know, I'd rather live longer and be healthier than prove that I can eat really fast on YouTube for views. <laughs> so this is this one. 
let's get in and see what it actually is i'm going to take a bigger bite this time and try and get a whole lot of everything mm. oh so that's my little happy dance one of my favorite things that's fig fig in a pastry i've never had a fig and pastry <laughs> i haven't got to the cheese yet so i don't know what that is but mm, that was divine man oh uh, that's a 10 who knew? I like pastries. Right. Oh! <laughs> That's goat's cheese. Wow. Two of my favorite things in a pastry. That is beautiful. I haven't had goat cheese in so long as well. It must be like six months, maybe longer. So I like goat cheese and I like feta. Oh, wow. That, this is a sexy pastry. Knocks the other one out of the park. Hmm. Never in my life would I have thought I'd be giving a pastry a 10. <laughs> oh, wow. So, do it. You can see how much enjoyment I'm, I'm having for 3 dollars <laughs> And You know, it's good to get a bargain these days, especially if, like, you know, every, everyone seems to be on a budget. And the food prices, even in America, have gone have skyrocketed i thought it was just uh the uk that where the prices has gone up well i went into walmart the other day it's not cheap anymore so why are people still shopping in walmart it's the same price as kroger's go to kroger's kroger's is a lovely store unless you just like people watching <laughs> but um but yeah Walmart's not what it used to be. I don't understand how they're even still in business, charging what they're charging. But um, but that's why things like this app, too good to go. Mm. Will thrive. Right. Oh, that's so good. I'm not eating another one there. Two pastries a day is enough for this man. Right. Have you made it this far? Jesus. Congratulations. I've just looked at the thing and realised I've just done eight minutes of eating pastries. I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, but if you have made it this far, congratulations. Uh, channel's doing really well. I really appreciate every single one of you that subscribed. And if you have got it this far and you don't subscribe, Please can you be one of those people that I'm saying thanks to. I'd, uh, I'd really appreciate it. So like the video. Um, share it actually. This is a good one to share. Because this is about me trying to help you guys save money and champion an app that I really believe in. I want to go to, go to work in every country in the world. You know, started in the UK. Took a while to get here. But now it's here. Boy, you've got so many restaurant options. It's like, you're going to basically be flicking through. You won't need Uber Eats. Uber Eats is like $35 minimum by the time they put their tax on. $3.99. You can select your mileage. So you can you can say, I want I want to go like somewhere that's five miles away from me or, and less and find out what you got there. And just go have fun. Experiment. It's four bucks, you know, like sometimes five bucks. But you're definitely going to grab a bargain. Anyway, thanks for watching. Later. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.